Okay, so the radius of a sphere is 21 centimeter with a measurement error of 0 0.05 centimeter. The question is, what is the maximum error when we calculate its volume? So, the volume of a sphere, uh, recall, is 4 over 3 pi r cubed. So, what is delta v, the error? Uh, if it depends whether we, uh, the, <clears throat> the error is upward or downward, let's say it's, uh, uh, we have 21.05, so delta v will be v of 21.05, uh, minus V of 21, right, um, which is the nominal volume, and therefore it will be 4 over 3 pi times 2105 cubed minus 4 over 3 pi times 21 cubed, and you can calculate it, but that's not the route we want to go because now we have a better tool to calculate, and we're going to say instead let's calculate dV. Okay, instead, so this is equal something, but we can say that dv dr, if you take the derivative of a sphere, then it will be 4 over 3 pi r, I'm sorry, 4 over, th 4 over 3 pi, and then we will have 3 r squared, or 4 pi r squared, which is the surface area, and I, th I believe we talked about it uh, couple of days ago, dv itself, if you recall, will be, you multiply by dr, and you have 4 pi r squared dr, and then dv, when r equals 21, is simply 4 pi times 21 squared, dr is 0 0.05, and you calculate it, and it comes up to 227 277 centimeter, cubic centimeter. And that would be the error. So an error of five hundredths of a centimeter uh, will balloon to 277 cubic centimeter, but the calculation was much easier using the differential dV rather than the delta V, the difference between the function values. Hence the advantage or the usefulness of using differentials. One of many. Alright, so this is the end of this example. It's also the end of this class.